Hey, this is AK here. Today we are going to see a quick video on how to upgrade your Dell Inspiron 157559 model laptop uh, RAM. So, uh, so this laptop I have been uh, having it from 2016. Uh, so recently I have uh, replaced the battery uh, for this. I'll just uh, leave a uh, link to that video below in the description also to today I'm trying to upgrade uh, the laptop RAM from its original 8 GB configuration to 16 GB configuration this model laptop has a maximum capacity of 16 GB place also and uh, I mean uh, so there are a ton of uh, RAM manufacturers available in the market key thing when you want to buy a laptop RAM off the market like from uh, outside your manufacturers uh, website for example I bought this on uh, Amazon so this is a Kingston 8GB DDR3L RAM uh, RAM chip essentially so Every laptop uh, has its own uh, type of uh, configuration. For example, laptops of this era had primarily DDR3 and DDR3L configuration. Nowadays you have DDR4 as well in place. Now it's very important uh, to, if you're buying a RAM for your Inspiron 15 7559 model, it needs to be a DDR3L type. So the L over here stands for low voltage. Uh, these chips, I believe, they run on 1.35 volts, whereas DDR3 runs on 1.5 volts. Now, uh, to be on the safer side, it's always good uh, good practice to go to the respective manufacturer's website. This uh, Kingston as well as Corsair or Mercury or Samsung, right? You can go to their websites and then uh, they usually have this compatibility checker where you enter the model number of your laptop and they will give you the right product for your laptop. So from, from Kingston, uh, this is the model number KCP3L16SD8-8. This chip is compatible with uh, this model of laptop. And uh, it's an 8GB chip. Uh, obviously, uh, this is assembled in China like all electronics and supposedly this has a lifetime warranty well I'm not sure whether it is truly lifetime because usually when they say lifetime it is four years or six years generally the lifetime of the chip and not for eternity so uh, let's do a quick opening of this so I was kind of enthusiastic and started opening it before I press the record button on the camera Essentially what you want to do is you take a pen knife and carefully remove this at the slit. The reason why we are being so careful is when you have these kind of products and when you are trying to claim warranty, usually they will ask for the original packaged product or packaging or product in original packaging. Damn, that was a bad tongue slip. So over here, it's uh, you just remove that, keep it like a butterfly over here then you just have to use your fingers and then uh, remove the tray out and that's it so this is your uh, 8 GB RAM Kingston RAM over here and the sticker on top is your warranty sticker so if you remove it it says warranty is void right so we don't want to do that obviously so let's try to hold between the edges and then lift them up so the chip looks to be fine on the face of it let me just keep it over here on the original tray now uh, as part of the packaging they also have this yep so sodium is again a RAM category part so some of the laptops uh, RAM are not non sodium and this is sodium I'm not sure what's, what it actually means, but uh, yeah, that's something that you need to look into. Okay, 
so it says 100% tester and lifetime warranty and uh, they have given uh, instructions as well so essentially they are saying that uh, you should remove the laptop from the power plug lift the ram using the edges not like the way i pulled it up you are not supposed to touch the copper thing how am i supposed to know when you keep this manual below the ram anyways and uh, sub so you are not supposed to okay this symbol means that uh, uh, especially if you are living in carpet homes you are not so, i mean your body is generate static electricity so you need to ground yourself up before touching any chips be it ram or anything even laptop batteries as such the reason is static electricity will damage this and do not bring your hair dryer or anything that blows air like right? near your laptop motherboard chips or even your tv chips it will fry them up and you cannot claim warranty by the way okay so it's telling us that we can verify the authenticity of the purchase by going to kingston.com/verify hmm. and it's and uh, they have installation thing in languages and they also have in hindi thai simplified chinese traditional chinese japanese arabic hmm. i guess it's a global product okay lifetime warranty is limited to defective product replacement or refund of the current value to the extent permitted by law not transferable for full warranty at kingston.com/wa ha huh, interesting anyways let's keep this aside i'm going to keep the chip aside as well for time being so you take your laptop you just have to flip this up sorry for the shaky camera it's ah okay i know it shakes a lot my camera stand is in the best but i'm working on it i'll replace it soon okay so essentially this model of laptops have a very easy accessible tray you just have to remove this screw uh using this type of screw driver i guess it's a philip or a tox and then uh, everything is accessible very easily so let me just quickly remove this and again sorry for the shake just be a little bit careful and uh, anybody can do this work right and you don't have to go to expensive service centers to get this done i mean you can easily save uh, 10 to 15 dollars or 20 dollars for this okay i'm just keeping the cover separately once we have removed it you can identify that this is the ram module slot over here you can see that there is an existing hgb module on the lower tray there is an empty upper tray in the top now what you want to do is you want to carefully take up your new ram uh, by the sides and you need to insert it in a right direction now the way to do find the right direction whether this is the top or the bottom you see this little notch over here you need to align this notch with this one and it is not in the middle it's slightly off side to the right so this notch should be going in inserting it slightly so for this model of laptop so the right right side of the notch is smaller than the left side of the notch so what you want to do is you hold this like this this is what i generally used to do align this to the notch at a 45 degree angle gradually and slowly no need to go rambo over here once you do that use two of your fingers and then bring them bottom so you can see that the steel clips are coming into position and snap that is it so if let's say you want to if, let's say if you have Uh, a previous 4 GB laptop, a uh, RAM in the laptop, and you want to replace it with 8 GB plus 8 GB sticks. How do you remove the lap, uh, uh, RAM out of the laptop? Again, two fingers. See the steel clips. 
try to push them to the side done the laptop just springs springs back and again you remove it using two fingers right let me show you again to install it you align it at a 45 degree angle push that push it in then you press it down slowly until the steel clip steel comes in and clips that is it clean done and dusted now what you need to do is replace the cover so you align the cover slide it back and press it in right and again no need to go rambo but just gentle push then you tighten the screw i leave when i boot up the laptop now uh the new ram stick should get detected and it should work properly let's see fingers crossed okay amount of memory has changed if you didn't change the memory reset the memory so yes this has been because of me because we have upgraded the memory so let's click continue So this is a good sign guys the ram has been detected so the first time what happens is it's going to boot up it's going to flash that memory it's like plugging in a new usb pen drive right the first time you need to form the disk and everything so that's why it takes a little bit of few seconds now let's see okay let me just log in okay so we are going to go over here and see this pc right and click on properties So essentially this will show how much CPU we have we have So you can see here the RAM is 16 GB 15.9 GB usable wow So our RAM has worked properly and uh, yep and we can go ahead and use it like always So thank you guys see you next time